cracking my knuckles like a badass. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, Terrell here on Terrell Game Vlogs, here to bring you another unboxing! I actually got this, technically I think I'm getting this like the day before it comes out, like I think they come out tomorrow, but fuck it, I don't give a fuck, it's awesome. I got some anime to manga to unbox! I'm being stupid, anyways. Um, first name, the manga that no one cares about, but I don't give a fuck, I think I'm like the only one collecting this, but... It's why Beats of Volume 7 comes out. It technically comes out tomorrow, but I don't give a fuck. I've been waiting for this bitch. Like, seriously, I, I swear to God, when it comes, every time It's a Why Beats of Volumes come out, I, I literally, the day I get them, I just blaze through them in, like, the course of, like, an hour or so, which then forces me to read every other manga I, I need to catch up on. And I've only read, like, part of the Blue Exorcist volume, so... And I still need to read the Shaman King and Ice Shield volumes. And... Uh, is that it? I think that's it. But, yeah! Alright, Utsuo, Pucci. These must all be new characters because they were not in the previous volume. The only character that was introduced last volume was Hikabi. And none of these motherfuckers are Hikabi. Uh, and the last thing I remember, they were in that whole, like, building of illusions to get one of the treasures. So, I guess... And from what I heard, I think these two end up joining... In. I don't know because obviously this is their arc I'm assuming so I'm looking forward to seeing how this unfolds I'm excited God I, I heard Shonen Sunday is going to be making a lot of anime stuff for next year Anime adaptation from what I heard this thing has 17 volumes This thing has 17 volumes in uh, around 17, 18 volumes in Japan right now So this this has enough material to do it even though it has the Yasha vibe Fucking uh, I'm ready my body is ready. <laughs> I should say that when I actually get the Wii U, but we'll, we'll wait. Next thing is, is I think, I think me and Sam are like the only two that were gushing over this show. Is this a zombie? It came out, boy, boy. And no, this is not DVD Blu-ray. This is just DVD. And for those who are going to bitch and be like, what is a DVD? And the same thing will go for, I think, Penny and Stocking. Kotakawa is the name of the company that has these shit series as this and Penny and Stocking and I think they have Dead Man Wonderland too. These are the series that for some reason Kota Cobb was really antsy on the Blu-ray releases. So the, the, the so people who are complaining about the Penny and Stocking Blu-ray just know that's not Funimation's fault. That's Kota Kawa being a bitch about oh we don't want Blu-ray so, eh. so they obviously have to go back so now they have to re-release it because I guess they finally got the rights. I'm surprised they got the rights. And something tells me they're probably going to get the rights to this. But I don't really mind. Uh, as far as this, this is a zombie is concerned, this is probably one of my favorite harems because it's awesome. Even though it does have a lot of things I, I don't really like in the harems. For example, they have the... Well, you know what? I could say that for the review. Why is this plastic so hard to open? Now, because this is DVD only, this chipboard box that actually looks really cool. And obviously, this back part comes right off. But luckily, it's not like the other Blu-rays where it's just like... I guess they're starting to learn that you can at least leave it like this so people can keep it. And then all I have to do is if I want to keep this, I can just slide that bitch in here. And see, then I'm good. So, I guess they're... <laughs> I guess they're learning for this anyway, so that's cool. Because I know the Helsing one, they did it too, where they had like a strip off. Plus, I think this is probably the back of like one of these anyway. At least, I, no, it's not. Actually, no. So I guess I'm just going to just keep this. I'm going to read this in a second. So let me show you. This is some really nice artwork, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of sparkles and shit. This is a really good box set. Like, this looks like a really cool chipboard box set. It's all sparkly and shit. Which I'm pretty sure my camera's not even picking up at all, actually. Yeah, I don't see it on there at all. Like, the camera is not doing this box set justice. Because it actually looks really nice. And it's not like that hard glitter that when you put your hand on it, it wipes off glitter on your hand and shit. No. It's smooth as fuck, but it... Uh, you probably can't see it. You can't, you, know, you can't, but it looks really good. And I actually like the way this feels. I, I don't know what it is. Like, this feels really nice. I don't know why, but it feels really nice. Uh, I like the design artwork and shit. 
So next, uh, also, I guess this is the special thing you got if you pre-ordered it from Right Stuff, which is fucking sticker. This is probably going on my car because I want to be a dick about it. And all it says is, is this a zombie? Like six times. From what I saw of the previews, the dub looks like it's actually going to be really good. So I'm looking forward to watching that. So which DVD is which? Okay. This is episodes one through seven. And you have you on the cover. And then you have Harno on the back. Pretty much the lollycon ish characters on this DVD. And then on this one, you have Seraph, Seraphim, and then Yuki on the back, or Tomari. Don't know why she has like two different names, by the way. Mind you, just to say, this is my favorite of the girls. Uh, I really like this series. I feel like the first season is better than the second season because the first season has a better mix of harem slash mystery. Because, you, you, uh, I, and I'll even say this when I review it. If you watch my weekly reviews of it on my main channel, you'll see... I was like intrigued the entire damn season. Each each episode had me interested. The only thing I don't really like is that the harem aspect of it. I think all three of these. I think what is it? Hara and Seraphim specifically are the ones that beat up on Ayakawa all the time. They use that whole because the character can die logic that we're gonna kill him for comedy, which isn't really funny, by the way. I'm sorry, I don't find that shit funny. Not really any. Okay, not any reversible... Well, there's a reversible soot cover, but nothing I would really want to do. And then, obviously, you just have this plain-ass discard. Which I don't really mind. There's nothing really wrong with it. And then you have... Pretty much the same thing. I think Yuki is introduced... Actually, he's introduced episode 8? Is it 8 that I'm thinking of? Yeah... She's introduced either episode 8 or episode 7. And then, oh, right, Kyo Kyoto. Kyoko, oh, God. I'm not looking forward to that shit in the fucking anime and dub, but we'll see. I don't know why I'm holding it like that. Um, put that back in here. I probably might go put this on my car in a minute, actually. And then, obviously, we read this. But I'm going to show you this. Pretty much fan service type episodes mixed with uh random shit all right here we go um i can't even actually you know what i'll do i'll hold this up while i'm reading it so you have something to look at okay some guys have no luck he he's got no pulse okay i'll give you points for that one for animation that was actually pretty nice <laughs> i even like this little tagline they got at the bottom where it's like pink is the new dead <laughs> so it's actually pretty cool Anyways, here we go. Okay, some guys have no luck. Some guys have no pulse. That's the life of quite unfortunate, undead Aikawa. No, no. <laughs> I'm so used to saying Aikawa. Undead Ayumu. First, he was murdered by a serial killer. Total bummer. Then he was resurrected as a zombie by a cute little necromancer. That seemed pretty cool until she moved into his house, refused to speak, and forced his rotting carcass to do all the cooking. After all that, a magical girl in a pretty pink dress used her magic matching chainsaw to chop his corpse in half. Luckily, the necr necromancer's powers of resurrection trumped those of the chainsaw chick. So instead of dying again, Ayumu just became the world's first magical girl zombie. There's also a voluptuous vampire ninja. And no, that's that's not bullshit. She actually is a vampire ninja. Who thinks the zombie boy is a pervert and a hideous crayfish demon who wants to devour him. Confused? All you gotta know is that is this zombies all you gotta know is this zombies frilly dresses demons and more chainsaws they don't mention the fact that he's cross dressing like all the time in this fucking anime actually they don't the only time they show it is right here actually is that no that's hard enough never mind they don't even show they don't even mention the fact that he's cross dressing the entirety of the series because he's so hard in his power so he's literally cross dressing every time he transforms and it's like, and there's like a, I think it's like in the later episodes, he's like, when you sing, when he, when he chants more spells, he becomes cuter, which is pretty gay, mind you. That was the other thing about this anime that initially bothered me. The main character ends up cross-dressing all the fucking time, so. This is one more time, and I'm gonna read the shit out of this! But, uh, yeah, that's it for right now.
Also, just an update on the video game side. I am on chapter 23 of Kid Icarus. I think I'm almost done. Um, I'm not gonna. Get, all I'm gonna say for right now is that I am enjoying the game, but I'll explain everything later when I review it on my main channel. But uh, anyways, that's pretty much an update. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please send me your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. If you have done an unboxing of either one of these things, please put it as a video response. That would be always welcome. So, anyways, this has been the vlogs again from your boy Terrell, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Up.